All right, let's do an unboxing of this uh, docking station. So I just uh, bought it and I have it here. So I just took it out of the box. So I'll, I'll show you a little bit closely, uh, just in case if you have to buy something like this. So this is the uh, ground gear, or no, I don't know, like a generic brand. I never heard about this brand. We have the clone station for M2, NGFF, um, SATA, and it basically is the solid drive and the hard drive and everything. So if you have one of these, you have one of these, or you have one of these, you can clone anything uh, in any way because most of, of them, uh, they are, are, are going to allow you maybe from M2 to M2, but uh, you cannot uh, clone from any hard drive, you know, like a regular uh, drive like this or any SATA to uh, one of like this. So this is the main reason why I bought uh, this uh, product. I bought another ones uh, before, but usually it's from SATA to SATA or M2 to M2 and that's it. So as you can see here, we have, it says uh, for M2 SSD, and then we have uh, the 2.5 and 3.5 inches. So basically, if you've never uh, seen it before, it is, this is 3.5 inches, the regular hard drive, and this is the SSD, regular 2.5 inches. And uh, here, uh, as you can see, uh, we have a bidirectional uh, cloning. So like I said before, you can clone from one, uh, type of connector to another type of connector. And then we have the cooling fan, as you can see here, this. And then here we have, it says tool free installation. We don't need any tools here. So if you see here, different uh, languages. And here we have in English, it says docking station, clone, docking station. So and in the other side, you're going to see, here you can put the regular uh, M2 and the regular hard drive, and that's it. And here you can put another one. So as you can see here, uh, we have the the gear selector for the fan. So the speed, so, uh, off, slow, and fast. Uh, we have the clone switch uh, direction, and then we have the USB, just in case if you want to connect to the computer, turn it on and off, and the power input, and that's it. So uh, here you have a few options that says, finally cloning SATA to NVMe, bidirectional, support a uh, USB 3.2, uh, and then we have up to 10 gigabits, M2 to, uh, you know, regular drives, and more of the same thing, support Windows and Mac. Um, that, that's it, that is all it comes with it. So I took it out of the box already. So it comes uh, with the regular cables, as you can see here. We have the, this uh, USB, the regular USB, as you can see here, uh, uh, USB-C. And then we have here USB-C to USB-C. And uh, we have the Velcro. And we have these uh, plastic things uh, that are to keep the, the drive in place. And then we have the, the power supply. So here I have the, the, the device. So as you can see, this is the plastic. Uh, I, I think I don't like much uh, this system. I prefer the other type of system, you know, like the one that you have in the other motherboards where you can just move a little uh, level, uh, lever and then you can, you know, put it in place instead of dealing with this plastic. But I think uh, it would be a good idea to leave the plastic in place, at least in the longest uh, side, so that way you don't lose it. Because, you know, over time uh, the box is going to disappear uh, you're going to lose this. So I would like a, a, some type of system where you can put this in place and you don't have to keep moving, you know, the, 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 these plastic the holders in place just to move things around. So I'll see if I can leave them uh, here so that way I don't lose them over time. It doesn't fit. The other one will fit fitting just fine. Okay, good. It fit here. And it should fit uh, as well here. So as you can see, you just put it here. And then you have to move this around. It's a good thing I don't do this every day. Otherwise, pain in the butt. Uh, you see, I have to put this like that. Move, move this like this. Uh, this uh, 
why so difficult? <laughs> okay, you just put it like that, you see? But now you will not be able to move this and leave it in place. So let's see if you move it. Yeah, this system it sucks. It should not be that difficult to do this. There we go. I think I was able to put it now. Okay, kind of. Hopefully it will stay in place. Otherwise, maybe a clamp on the side and that's it. And again, I don't like this type of system. Uh, otherwise, I had another one that you just stick it and that's it. You don't have to use any of these type of uh, things. Um, so that way you don't have, it, it will make your life easier. I'll show you, I'll bring one. All right, uh, as you can see, I have the, the other one. This one I like much better, so you don't have to deal with this junk like that. You just stick it like this, and, and that's it. And it will say, you see, easy. It's not that difficult. The, this, this one is good, but it, again, it will not clone from N2 to regular SATA. So it will do it from here to here, to here from here, fine or from here to here just fine but uh, it's a pain in the butt uh, so that is why um, I, I bought uh, this one so that way it will make my life hopefully easier uh, other than that i don't see um, anything else that i should complain about let's see if i can move this around I don't know if they, I mean all the plastic that I see here all are are the same. They are, they should not be any different. There we go. I was able to make it fit uh, better. So again, it should not be that difficult. That you have to do all this just to make it fit. Here, put the drive here. Turn this on, and like I said before, uh, here you have the fan. You know this fan speed. If you want from N. M -A N B M E to SATA or from SATA to N N -A N B M E uh, USB, turn it on and off, the power, and uh, that's it. And here you have the lights, you know, so that way you see uh, the progress of the of the chamfer, and that's it. So as you can see here, you have uh, different sizes: 2230, 2242, 2260. 2280 and then you have 22 uh, 116 so in the other side should be uh, the same i think uh, it, it should be maybe a little bit different something that you can you know put this uh, like that because if you put it like this and you lift this up uh, you may break it but again uh, for instance if i have this like that i cannot uh, make it fit so this is not going to fit i have to remove this so I should have some place to put them in place just in case if I have to do this and I don't lose uh, this, you know. Otherwise, it's going to be a pain in the butt. You plug it in and that's it. I don't want to plug it in because I don't have any anything to, to clone uh, right now. But uh, this is the, the product uh, for now. So again, if you have any question, please let me know section below. Maybe in a few days I'll test it or a few weeks depending on how many computers I have to clone. And, and that's it. So if you want to keep learning about how to become a computer a technician, go to my playlist and you will see all my um, uh, videos about this uh, topic. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.